an organization encompassing 360 degrees of digital presence an organization known as the pillar of digital india initiatives an organization conscious of its responsibility towards citizens of india an organization with state-of-the-art technologies an organization comprising of dynamic leadership and vibrant human resources an organization having strategic geographical spread across india an organization with a rich portfolio of platforms and services touching all tiers of government an organization helping in the environment conservation by making services online and paperless an organization with an extensive experience of more than four decades we are national informatics center popularly known as nic the technology enabler for the government started as a small program of undp nic became fully functional in 1976 since then nic has emerged as a prime builder and backbone of e-governance systems developed in india the vision behind the establishment of NIC was of Dr. Narsim Mahya Sheshagiri. He groomed and led a team of able technocrats who are taking his legacy forward and playing a key role in e-governance and digital transformation of the government. NIC established NICNET, the Pan-India Communication Network for exclusive use of government, connecting government offices across the length and breadth of India. As early as the 80s, NIC was able to reach the unreached by effective usage of NICNET. Today, NICNET is the backbone of all government communications, connecting even the remotest parts of the country for effective delivery of digital services. NIC further established National Knowledge Network in 2009, the high-speed multi-gigabit nationwide network that empowers all e-governance initiatives under Digital India interconnecting knowledge and research institutions and is a key enabler for research and collaboration in the country. Video conferencing services offered over NICNET initiated in 1995 connect government functionaries virtually from their offices and has transformed the way government officials interact. This is now an integral component of government's functioning and effective monitoring saving valuable time and money. Pragati, the project monitoring platform of Honorable Prime Minister, is the biggest testament to this video conferencing excellence. I am also giving the NIC team that the technological support is very perfect. Starting with the first data center in 2002, NIC now offers four state-of-the-art national data centers. These data centers are offering rugged, resilient and scalable infrastructure to render variety of services to the citizens effectively. The first national cloud of the government under the initiative Megraj was set up by NIC to utilize and harness the benefits of cloud computing and provide a robust and agile infrastructure with on-demand services. This has sped up the delivery of e-services to the government, businesses and citizens. A nationwide view of ICT infrastructure for effective monitoring and management of all critical services is facilitated by the state-of-the-art command and control center at NIC headquarters. From snail mail, messaging services have transitioned to the era of instant communication through email and SMS. The government email service initiated in late 1980s has now grown to become the primary backbone of effective communication across all tiers of central and state governments. Location-based services and maps are an integral part of our day-to-day -day life, directly or indirectly. Starting with mapping of Delhi region with aerial photography in 1990, NIC now provides a multi-layered GIS-based platform, Bharat Maps, comprising of base maps, satellite images and hybrid maps for provisioning of location-based e-governance services. As early as 1982, NIC showcased its strength by developing and implementing information systems for efficient management of Asian Games in New Delhi. Starting in mid-80s, the impact of NIC's contribution was also visible in teletext services for Doordarshan and Indian Railways and collection and dissemination of election results. 
NIC took up projects in the 80s and 90s in the areas of analysis of engineering structures such as Taj Mahal and offshore structures for ONGC and Mazagao docks at Bombay High. This has led to the development of the indigenous 3D CAD software Colab CAD. Various applications such as IT in passport office, CRISP and land records computerization came up in the mid 80s. The 80s and 90s also saw the setup of DISNIC centers, implementation of IT in PDS, Treasuries, ROC, Customs, EPFO and Employment Exchange. For effective and timely information dissemination, NIC initiated Center for World Wide Web, CWeb, in 1995, which has led to the development of India Portal, the national portal of the country. Over the years, NIC built and managed numerous MIS solutions for various government departments. A number of these solutions have now transitioned into large digital platforms for several mission-critical government systems and citizen-centric services. OPA has matured into eOffice, a digital workplace solution comprising of a suite of products that paves the way for an efficient and open government by streamlining workflow for both inter- and intra-government processes and making them paperless. The e-procurement platform JEPNIC, started in 2007, has spearheaded adoption of electronic procurement in the government and public sector and is instrumental in enhancing transparency in government procurement. With e-hospital, online registration system and beneficiary identification system, NIC has touched the lives of the citizens by connecting patients, doctors and hospitals on a digital platform. NIC has also been an integral part of Pradhan Mantri Jeevan Arogya Yojana, a project of Ayushman Bharat for the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The advanced teleradiology software Colab DDS ensures that remotely located patients are not deprived of the services of expert radiologists. Students benefit immensely from digital platforms such as National Scholarship Portal and e-counseling with timely dispersal of scholarships and hassle-free admission processes in technical and academic institutions across the country. The eCourts platform provides an affordable, accessible and transparent justice delivery system for different stakeholders like litigants, lawyers and judiciary. A significant change in the way transport services are delivered to the citizens speedily and smoothly is ushered in by the use of Vahan and Sarathi platforms which automates the processes of issuance of driving licenses, vehicle registrations and related services. Citizen-centric initiatives M. Parivahan and mobile-based traffic enforcement solution e Chalan are innovations that have emerged from e-transport platform. E-Way Bill brings consigner, consignee and taxpayers on a single platform facilitating transporters and taxpayers in movement of goods and has helped to boost GST revenue collections, abolish check posts, increase tax compliance and bring ease of doing business in the country. NIC has digitally transformed the rural landscape by implementing various platforms that ensure right benefit to right beneficiary at the right time. Starting with the passport services in the 90s, NIC developed machine-readable passports and e-passports, computerization of immigration, visa and foreign registration as IVFRT has helped in streamlining the services and issuance of e-visa. On the agricultural front, be it DACnet in the 80s or the recent PM Kisan scheme, NIC has developed many systems for the agriculture sector. Targeted public distribution system ensures that food grains are sold to eligible beneficiaries at the right price and in the right quantity. NIC is actively supporting Honorable PM's mission of Swachh Bharat and has developed and implemented artificial intelligence enabled information systems which help in monitoring the progress of construction of toilets for households and community sanitary complexes. Various large-scale products developed by NIC helped in automating the services at the states and districts of the country. PFMS has given a quantum jump to the way accounting and payments are handled in the government ecosystem. 
It has enabled real-time tracking of government funds and is the backbone for direct benefit transfer or DBT to ensure timely credit of funds to citizens in a transparent manner. Bringing e-services to the doorstep of senior citizens, Jeevan Praman has streamlined the process of submission of life certificate and made it hassle-free and easier for pensioners. A low-code, no-code, meta-data-based integrated e-service delivery framework, Service Plus, is used by departments to configure and deliver services at rapid pace. SWAS, secure, scalable and Sugamme website as a service is a platform for generating accessible, responsive, configurable websites, reducing the effort of design, development, deployment and maintenance. To address the ever-increasing threats of cyber attacks, NIC offers cyber security infrastructure and services to these platforms and products at both network and application levels. NIC has also established Center of Excellence for Application Security at strategic locations. A Computer Emergency Response Team NIC CERT has been constituted with an objective of analyzing, monitoring and responding to cyber threats on critical government infrastructure. Keeping in pace with emerging technologies, NIC has set up Centers of Excellence in Data Analytics, Artificial Intelligence and Blockchain. NIC has transformed the way government functions by optimizing and automating its processes and activities and has impacted all levels of society and created a huge impact on the Indian digital landscape and digital transformation of the government. Many of our digital platforms and products are also being propagated internationally. Over the years, NIC has become the think tank and pillar for ICT adoption in the government and is committed to serve the country with the same spirit, energy and efficiency in the forthcoming years. And today, NIC has emerged as a very important institution of India, relied upon both by the central and state governments and not only helping governance, but most importantly, subserving the larger cause of digital inclusion.